Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It's time for the live unboxing of my first Apple TV, which happened to be released, uh, I guess it was uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, mine finally arrived, and I've had it sitting here on my desk for a while, waiting for the right moment uh, to unbox it in front of the live video feed. Uh, the camera for that is pointed just off screen, but I happen to be watching it on pocket.perillo.com here on my iPad. The reason why I'm sitting at this angle is because I'm actually going to unbox and plug it in for the first time uh, by way of an HDMI cable that I have uh, that was normally or is normally connected to uh, a DVR here in uh, front of my console. And please don't make fun of my TV. I know it sucks, but I'm looking for a better HD TV for my home office. So if you have any recommendations to make, please, I'm all ears. So uh, here we go. Uh, I have the uh, 64 gig version of the Apple TV here. Um, kidding! Because of course this Apple TV doesn't have any storage inside, so to speak. There really is only one Apple TV. Okay, so uh, I've already scored the bottom of it so I can uh, get rid of the external plastic with ease. There we go. HDMI, 802.11n, Wi-Fi, and that's good because uh, I decided just the other day uh, to turn off all wireless connections unless they happen to be N. Uh, so I'm fine with the iPad, the iPhone, iPod Touch, and most of my devices. A few of them don't work anymore, uh, but I've eliminated all B and G wireless traffic on my home network. Awesome. Uh, okay, here. Uh, rent and instantly watch the latest Hollywood movies and TV shows in stunning HD. Because I've never been able to do that before! Awesome! <clears throat> Stream video from Netflix and YouTube. Oh, I can't believe this is actually happening. I I've, I've never heard of such a device. Okay, obviously I'm being a little flippant. Okay, seriously. Uh, and play music, video, and photo slideshows from your computer all over your Wi-Fi wireless network. Again, I... I've, Kinda, I've done this before. This, this is really nothing new, other than it being an Apple TV and me never having an Apple TV before. But for $99, uh, yeah, what's, what's not to like? Go.tagjag.com slash Apple TV is where you can get your own if you'd like. Let's go ahead and slide off the external casing there. Oh, there we go. Uh, they just put you right into it there. And I happen to appreciate the fact that uh, the Apple TV is black, uh, and the reason why is because it would, you know, kind of blend in nicely. You wouldn't be able to see it. You don't need to see it. You just need to know that it works. Uh, so that's black. Uh, the remote here is silver with black buttons. Although uh, I do, can you hear that? I don't know if you can see Wicket, one of my dogs here. He's kind of disappointed because he's been waiting for a Google TV. Uh, but Google TV is not out yet, buddy. But don't worry, I'm sure that I'll figure out a way to get hold of a Google TV to review. Uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and slide off the cellophane here. Uh, do I need to turn it on? I may need to turn it on. And I need a coin. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a coin. I do have pop chips. This is what I'm having for dinner, by the way. Mm. Awesome. Wash it down with some wine. Mmm. Mmm. All right, let's see here. Yeah, menu, play pause. Uh, but what's nice is the Apple remote app for the iPhone and the iPad. Um, and I may actually interface with uh, the Apple TV, TV by way of that rather than this remote at this point in time. All right, now we probably need some cables. Yeah, go figure. There's the power cable, and that's it. Uh, the instruction booklet, which I imagine as with, you know, any other Apple product you don't need. That's the beauty of any product from Apple. Uh, that's in my opinion, of course. Uh, now, my question to you right now is, do you have an Apple TV? Did you have the first generation Apple TV? Uh, did you get one of these new generation Apple TVs? If so, why? If not, why not? Just curious. All right. Gotta ask the community, you know. Uh, and if you're gonna ask me what I'm going to do with my old Apple TV, uh, I'll give it away. I'll give away my old Apple TV, but if you were paying attention, you would know that this is my first Apple TV! Can't give this away yet. I don't have an old Apple TV. This is still a new Apple TV. Uh, ooh. To keep it safe from scratches in transit, uh, looks like they've placed black tape over it, which I can now use uh, for all my Gorilla movies. Uh, Ricket, you want to try it on? Okay, guess not. Just throw it there. 
On the back here, ooh, optical audio, nice. Uh, we've got Ethernet cable, HDMI connection, um, and hopefully my cable will connect to it just fine. It looks like a, a USB connection there and power. All right, so, oh, nice. I like how the cable was uh, structured in such a way that it's not curling back upon itself, uh, even though it came in a coiled capacity. All right, let's see if I'm going to blow a fuse here. I think I got an extra outlet there. Now, I'm just going to have this hanging out here. HDMI connected, power on, I see a, a blinking light. So the question is, when will that actually, oh wait, I probably need, I need to turn it on. Uh, maybe I do need a coin, or do I need to turn it on? Is there a power button somewhere else? Is it booting up? There's no power button. Maybe I do need the, oh, I guess I don't need the instruction manual, never mind. All right, uh, here we go, the uh, live usage here. And I apologize for everybody watching the live video feed. You'll have to wait till this video gets uploaded to YouTube, which I'll do pretty quickly. Uh, English, setting language to English. To connect to the internet, choose your Wi-Fi network, or connect using an ethernet cable. Uh, we are going to go connect to live.perillo.com. Well, no, I'm not gonna eat you later yet. Uh, I actually need to, uh, oh gosh. This is the thing I hate about setting uh, the password for my home network is it's so long. Uh, see, live.perlo.com is the name of my SSID. Uh, and I broadcast it, so it's kind of like advertising for any of the drive-bys. And my password, as you know, has always been, uh, for just about every one of my wireless access points, Oscar the Grouch. Uh, almost there, you... Sorry, guys, I realize this is rather unexciting. Oscar the Grouch, done. But the nice thing is, is the remote is very responsive, as, as is the UI. I'd expect nothing less, um, especially from, uh, from Apple. Done. Let's see here. Oh, the live video feed's looking good here on the iPad. Now, I don't think, if I held it up right, I don't think you can pull in the live video feed right now on an Apple TV, which is kind of disappointing. Maybe at some point, though. Um, you can help Apple improve its products. Ah, sure, why not? I don't care. They're just sending relatively benign information over the internets. Uh, here we go. Uh, I can now rent movies, uh, which, again, isn't all that exciting. Although, i got to tell you, nice thing about the Apple TV is it is portable. Very portable. Uh, portable enough that I'm only going to have one and carry it around with me in the house. Wherever I want to plug it into, I can. Not a big deal. It's already set up. I can travel with it. And the nice thing about traveling with it, well, assuming you have some kind of uh, cable connection to the television, uh, I've been in hotel rooms where they'll, they want to charge you like twice as much for a movie as, as what you could get for the same movie in better quality on something like iTunes uh, or Netflix uh, for, for that uh, matter. Uh, so, uh, it's nice to have this as an option because sometimes iTunes has the cheapest price for the same movies. One of the reasons why I think this is good, healthy competition uh, for, you know, cable networks, dish networks, and, and certainly for uh, Google TV when they start. Uh, movies, top movies, genre, search in theaters? Interesting. Uh, let's see. Usually when it's still in theaters, uh, the selection kind of sucks. It's like, you know, the French movies, which I'm really not into. Uh, let's see, ooh, okay, uh, African Cats, Alpha and Omega, Avatar, really, is Avatar still in theaters? I didn't know that. Uh, Casino Jack, Narnia in 3D. Oh, well, how could it play in 3D? Oh, Catfish! I just saw this movie, uh, just the other day. Uh, it was worth seeing. Uh, it, it's a, it's a good renter. I'm not gonna buy it now, obviously, because, you know, I, I've already kind of rented it. I want to go back, so intuitively... All I had to do was press the menu button. That's one of the things uh, that I appreciate, again, about Apple. It's the simplicity of their interface and design. I don't have to fumble around with a billion buttons wondering what I need. Intuitively, I press menu. That was it. I went back to the menu. Uh, TV shows, top TV shows, Glee, Grey's Anatomy. I'm boycotting Glee until uh, they have a, a Weird Al Yankovic episode, by the way. Uh, internet, uh, oh, genres, TV networks, or search. Let's see what TV networks, uh, ooh, 20th Century Fox, ABC, ABC Family, ABC News, BBC America, BBC Earth, Disney Channel, Fox, uh, Disney XD, XD? All right, 
doesn't sound good. Oh, that's it. That's all I have. Oh. Well, that sucks. That's all the TV networks? Dude, why aren't they aboard? This is Apple. Come on. Uh, all right, let's go over to Internet so I can connect it to Netflix, YouTube, podcasts. Now, the nice thing is with YouTube, uh, you should be able to... Uh, oh, I can log in to my account if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, but I could likely search for, let's say, my last name. See what pops up. P I. Oh, cool. And it does it instant over on that side. Perillo. P I R I. I could also search for Locker Gnome and likely get some video. Perillo. What do we have? Classic Chris Perillo. Oh, yes, of course, from that time on Tech TV. Telemarketing prank backfires, leave Windows Vista alone. The airplane safety instructional video. This video, over a million views on YouTube, the first video I uploaded to YouTube, actually made it to the front page of YouTube. There's uh, some information for you that you probably didn't know. So here we go, uh, pulling in, uh, I guess, video, YouTube video from the internet. Uh, Welcome aboard. Before we depart, please remove the safety card from the seat pocket in front of you. Okay, you can watch that later if you want. Uh, we'll go back to menu, go back. <laughs> Uh, oh, show more from Lockernum. That's nice. Options? I wonder what options are. I wonder if I could read it. Well, I'm not logged in, really. Show more from Lockernum. Okay. And it looks like they're not uh, even pulling, like, recent videos. They're just pulling seemingly random videos. Gift for Geeks, Home Office Tour, etc. Let's go back menu. It's pretty nice. Clean experience. Pretty quick, too. Uh, not very clunky. Podcast. Of course, you can subscribe to the Chris Perillo Show podcast from... Uh, your Apple TV. Just search for Perillo again and you'll be able to find it. Uh, Mobile Me, Flickr, and Radio. Nice. Uh, I don't know. Look at look at what's featured on YouTube. Like, eyeballs. Who the frick wants to watch eyeballs? Okay, so I can pull in photo slideshows if I wanted to. I wonder if there's, uh, for Flickr, some interesting uh, content outright. I don't know. You can do a search term. I'm not going to do that, though. That may take a while. And I can't make sure that the content's okay. Turn on home sharing uh, for the computers, and I think I have home sharing set up, uh, but I'm not gonna do that here because again, I don't want everybody to go and add me as a friend to all these places. Uh, settings general, screensaver, audio, video, airplay, computers, and sleep now. Uh, let's see what the screensaver looks like, if anything. Start after five minutes. Oh. Show during music, yes. Photos, uh, screensavers, so there's different screensavers. Randomized, floating, reflections, origami. Oh, I love origami. Floating and origami are recommended for plasma televisions. Interesting. Ken Burns effects and snapshots. Let's go ahead and preview an origami. This is using the animal's photos. Okay, so it's like the origami uh, photo presenter on the, uh, the iPad. Very nice, very clean. Uh, you could you know, obviously set it for your own photos. Uh, let's see what we have under general here. Oh, about name. Oh, you may, you can name the device. Network, iTunes Store, parental controls, remotes, update software, sleep after, send data to Apple, legal, and reset. Has anybody ever read the legal documentation? Remotes. Okay, now this is where I'm going to be interested in. Let's go in, dig in deeper. Yeah, pair. I may have to. Re, I'm going to try pairing the remote application on my iPad here. Remote. Do I have it on here? I don't know if I have it on the iPad here. I have it on the iPhone. Yeah, I, I have the Keynote presenter. Hang on, I may have to download it. Dang it. Well, that, that's kind of disappointing, because I'm actually using my iPhone right now to uh, um, to record this. Although, maybe I can use my my iPhone, or my, sorry, my iPod Touch. Uh, let's search for remote. I'm sure this will pull up a billion results here. <clears throat> we'll see how quickly this goes. Remote free, and I know I already have it. Yep, that's it. Yeah, it wasn't installed on here. Odd. Okay. So, unable to purchase. Yeah, you think? Let me, like, type in the pack. Can I type in? Give me a chance to type in the password. Well, maybe I won't be doing this. Because it's, it's saying free, install app. And so I'm doing that, and then it goes back to free. Is it already installed? See, that's what I wonder if it's... No, it's not there. I exited out of the app store. Let's try it. Okay, tired of wasting time there. Let me see if I have it on the iPod Touch. You know what I have? I have a dead battery on the iPod Touch. 
Yay. Okay, now it's asking for my, finally, my iTunes password. Uh, hang on. Hopefully you guys can't see this. And theoretically, it is installing. I have no idea how long it's going to take to get it installed. So either way, uh, we're going to try to pair um, the Apple TV with the remote free remote available uh, in the App Store. Uh, it's a universal binary, so it works with both the uh, iPad, uh, iPod Touch, well, I guess not just with both, but iPad, iPod Touch, iOS devices, for all intents and purposes. Uh, it's kind of impossible to run through the entire list. Just say iOS, I guess. So, uh, yeah, the uh, experience seems really nice, really clean. Um, you know, I, I would hope to see more live content coming through a Apple TV. Uh, I would like to be able to see a speech synthesis uh, come down the pike, um, just because it's easier to say what I'm looking for rather than having to, to punch it in. Uh, of course, it may get easier uh, in using the remote application, uh, you know, either on the iPad or an iOS device that I have at my disposal. Uh, I'm still seeing the uh, spinning dial, which means that uh, it's likely still, yeah, it's still downloading. Um, so, uh, I'm happy. $99, uh, and now I have the ability to uh, subscribe to podcasts, video uh, podcasts, obviously, uh, watch YouTube from anywhere in a clean, cohesive experience to share media uh, throughout my home on the network, although I don't really download a lot through iTunes. I'm more, as I've said before, more of a subscription kind of guy, so I subscribe to Rhapsody um, and uh, use Pandora as well. Kind of interesting that Pandora wasn't here as a launch partner, because um, Apple, you know, they support Pandora, obviously, in some way, shape, or form. They allow it in the App Store. Uh, so let's go ahead. It looks like we may be ready. Okay, remote. We are ready. <clears throat> turn on home sharing. Add iTunes library. Well, I guess we have to turn on home sharing first. Okay. Uh, this is going to take... I, I don't know if I even want to step through this at this point because I, I don't have all this stuff set up. I apologize, guys. Uh, not like you probably haven't tuned out by now. Because I'm guessing if you've made it this far in the video, um, you're crazy. Uh, I'm not, maybe you are, maybe you're not, uh, but I probably wouldn't have <laughs> watched uh, this long. I mean, the, the unboxing thing, the account name or password is incorrect. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this right now. Because it's it's just it, it it's gonna take too long to actually set up. Um, uh, it's pairing that remote remote application. Yeah, I've got to turn on home sharing again. Uh, I'll, I'll do this in, a, in another video. I'm sure it's simple on the experience, you know, basically being able to touch through it. That's the value. You know what's possible. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line. You have any Apple TV tips, tricks, tweaks, thoughts? Mm. Chris.perillo.com. Um, my blog, geeks.perillo.com. Coupons.lockernome.com. As I said, go.tagjag.com slash Apple TV. Uh, we also um, have, uh, what else, Pixie? Oh, yes, at Chris Perillo on Twitter, where I happened to announce that I was doing this live unboxing so you could have tuned in live. They did. Well, actually, let me see if I can pull up the live video feed here. Um, I also posted it to Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo because people follow me there as well. I don't know if you do. If not, you, you might want to because at some point we're going to be giving away um, an iPad there on uh, Facebook when we hit a certain amount of likes. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. See? There's the chat room here. It's part of a live video feed going out over the web 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We are geeking out! I can't think of anything geekier than unboxing gadgets mm. in front of a virtual studio audience and drinking wine and eating chips. Can you think of anything more geeky? Fine, I challenge you. But you're welcome to join us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.